and we're out for flight four of the Sabre. Having a lot of trouble landing it. Um, I can't decide, like, full flap slows it down way too much, but you could use more throttle. Um, I just can't decide the best way to land it, and I haven't been able to land it well. Takeoffs, the last takeoff was alright, but it struggles. So, the takeoff flaps. Throttle active. Have you reset the timer? Anyway, we're ready to go. Lift off. Lift off. Landing gear up, flaps up. About 20, 15 to 20 k of wind. 31.1 volts. 43. And it's got flicked, flicked by the wind into a steeper bank. Quite a bit of turbulence, it's always hard to see in videos, but it's just buffeting around quite notably and definitely on those turns across the wind. It's um, the turns across wind, as soon as the wind gets under the wing and just can suddenly flick it over an extra 10, 20, 30 degrees, just have to be very careful with it. Reasonably big loops, very good for scale. Um, the rolls are reasonably actual, you only need a very slight amount of down elevator to maintain the path and not have it descend while it's inverted. So I think um, overall it's flying really nicely. I'm happy. Oh, there it goes, wind got it again. I'm happy with the um, balance of it. It's, it's nice to have those near actual rolls and you know just having good flight behaviors. Actually some of the, when I think about it, some of the pitch motions are a tiny bit tail heavy. Um, and then I think about it, because when I'm landing it's struggling to stay on the ground, so I think it's able to rotate off the main gear too easily because it's you know, that, so I might make it a little bit more nose heavy um, this is the last flight I've only got four sets of batteries but I'll make a note of that and move forward at three millimeters or something five
definitely it's much nicer to at least start the turn, if not continue the turn, using rudder. Didn't have any speed run up, so we can't really climb very high before it'll run out of energy. Whoa, that pulled off to the side for some reason. Probably the wind. Ruined my nice little split S. Thirty five hundred, oh it's getting close to time to land. I've been eating up a bit more power than typical. Landing gears coming down. Low level flaps. Back off. Doesn't like turning with the um, gear down and flaps down. It's definitely starts wallowing. So the problem is I've got to try and come onto a final with a bit more power, but then I've they, then it takes a long time for it to land. I just have to let it fly through however far it wants to. That was a bit. Um, lacking a flare there. Just as it was coming down, it's just my perception of the ground height. Just as it was coming close, I'm like, ooh, it's time to flare. Yeah, sure it is, it's just touching down now, before I even got the flare. <laughs> 